Good morning. My name is Captain David Barukowitz of the Nye County Sheriff's Office, and today I will brief you on the facts and circumstances concerning the Nye County Sheriff's Office first officer-involved shooting for 2021 as we currently know them. This incident occurred on August 27, 2021 at approximately 10.52 p.m. This shooting was fatal. By this time last year, we had two officer-involved shootings, both of which were fatal. The deputy involved in this shooting was wearing a body-worn camera, however, the battery had died just prior to the shooting. Because the sheriff has ensured we run redundant systems, the deputy's dash camera footage captured the entire incident, and I will show that to you in a minute. The deputy involved in this shooting is Deputy Jonathan Justice, who has been a peace officer for the Nye County Sheriff's Office for approximately eight months. Deputy Justice is currently assigned to the patrol division in the Northern Area Command. The weapon system that Deputy Justice used during this officer-involved shooting was a new Frontier AR-15 223 caliber semi-automatic rifle equipped with a tactical light, aim point optic, and magnifier. This incident originated in Tonopah, Nevada, which is located in the Northern Area Command of the Nye County Sheriff's Office. On August 27, 2021, at approximately 10.30 p.m., NCSO dispatch received a 911 call regarding an altercation that had taken place involving Strandberg. Strandberg had made threats regarding killing people and killing himself. It was reported that Strandberg was headed southbound on US 95 in a white ProMaster van. An Esmeralda County Sheriff's Office deputy located the vehicle stopped on the side of the road at US 95 and mile marker 37 in Esmeralda County. Strandberg was inside the vehicle in the passenger seat. The Esmeralda County deputy negotiated with Strandberg, attempting to get him to exit the vehicle. NCSO Deputy Justice arrived shortly after the Esmeralda County deputy. During the negotiation, Strandberg advised deputies that they were going to have to kill him and stated that he was going to come out with a gun. After several minutes, Strandberg exited the vehicle with what appeared to be a handgun in his hand and pointed it at Deputy Justice. Deputy Justice and the Esmeralda County deputy returned fire, striking Strandberg. The subject then sat back up and pointed the gun at Deputy Justice and again, Deputy Justice and the Esmeralda County Deputy returned fire, striking Strandberg again. Deputy Justice fired approximately 13 rounds during the incident. I will show you dash camera footage of the incident up to the point where Strandberg was shot. Now I am slowing down the footage to give you a better perspective. Next is a still shot of Strandberg pointing the gun at deputies just prior to being shot. The suspect in this OIS is Ingmar von Strandberg, age 30 of Las Vegas. Strandberg has no criminal history. Strandberg was pronounced deceased on scene by medics after life-saving efforts were provided by deputies and medics. After the shooting, it was discovered that the weapon that Strandberg used in the shooting was a Sig Sauer P365 replica pellet gun. In this next photo, you can see a side-by-side -side comparison of this replica pellet gun, which looks virtually identical to an actual Sig Sauer P365. Deputy Justice is on paid leave pursuant to standard protocol. The Nevada Department of Public Safety Investigations Division is conducting the criminal investigation into the shooting. The investigation and primary jurisdiction for this officer-involved shooting remains with the Esmeralda County Sheriff Ken Elgin. Thank you and have a good day.